this is Chris for Retrofame. So today's review is a Zoppo ZP1000. So this is an octa-core smartphone um, with one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes uh, of RAM. So it's a five inches IPS screen. And um, let's have a look so then at the box. So this is a usual package from Zoppo. So we can have a quick look at the specifications on the back. So as I say, 5 inches HD octa-core 1 gig 16. Two SIMs of course, uh, dual cameras, GPS, and possibility of record uh, HD videos. And a 2000 mAh um, Li polymer battery. So that's it. Let's have a look really what is inside. So we have the smartphone itself. And then we have a usual manual here, all in English which explain you different steps okay and then if you go under that so we have a free screen protector with something to clean uh, your screen to then if we open really deep inside so we have uh, one cable USB micro USB cable as usual. We also have uh, earphones from Zoppo. So they also have control talk. Okay, with a 3.5 millimeters jack. We have a USB charger with a green light for indicator. So this is a EU plug. We can provide you with a um, UK adapter or a US adapter, no problem at all, okay? So let us know when you check out. And last but not least, we have so the pin to extract the, the SIM card. So we will use it very, very soon, just to show you uh, what is going on in this phone. So basically that's it for, for the box. So now we can have a look actually at the, at the phone itself. So. This is the ZP1000. Uh, this is a golden color. Uh, it's also available in black. Okay. So, if we have a very closer look, so here we have the sensors, and we also have like a, a LED indicator. We have the speaker, the front camera, which is a five megapixels. On the bottom, we have so the back home settings. Here we have the USB port, the microphone, on the side we have the micro SIM card, so we can just open it right away to show you. So you just insert and press, take it out. So as you see that we have actually two SIM cards. Then on the top we have the 3.5 mm jack and on the other side we have the volume button and the power button and the speaker here on the back mono speaker so here otherwise we have a 14 megapixels camera with auto flash and auto focus and here the microphone as well so basically this is it for uh, for the Zoppo ZP1000. So this is uh, a metal back cover here and uh, and on the side we can see this this golden finishing okay all around. So here you can see a 5 inches HD super clear LCD octa core. So we will see how clear is this uh, is this smartphone. Uh, first of all, uh, I just want to say that this battery is actually 2000 mAh and is not removable, uh, but allows you to to surf on Wi-Fi, for example, for around about nine hours straight. You know, which is quite correct and quite good for for such a phone. Uh, we also have um, actually in the box a plastic back cover. So. As you see, it's protecting 
very well your smartphone so it's hard plastic on it this phone is 150 grams which is uh, quite usual for for such a smartphone dimensions are the following so this is a uh, 143.9 millimeters uh, long with 72.2 uh, millimeters here and we have a thickness of 7.2 millimeters uh, only which is very very thin for, uh, for such a phone so uh, yeah the last thing I can say is just like here this is like a I said it before but it's a glossy gold plastic uh, bezel so it's, it's not like uh, all metal, the metal is only here uh, on the back, okay? So now what I propose to use to get started and to, to turn on this phone then. Start. So the screen has Corning Gorilla Class uh, 3 and uh, on top of it we also have OTG uh, available. However, the only inconvenience of this smartphone is like we don't have any uh, SD card slot, so you will have to deal with the 16 uh, gigabytes of uh, of internal memory. So this is it um, for the screen. So here, as you can see, this is really really um, bright. So just to let you know, we we made some research and actually this. Um, this smartphone is more bright than actually even the, the Nexus 5, so it's very very good performance uh, about it. So let's start first you know, with, with the toggles. So here we can see that we have so the owner, 99% for the battery, of course, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data connection, data usage, audio profiles if you want to set up. So the brightness here we see that we set up to the maximum for this review. And we also have the timeout, auto rotation if you want to deactivate or activate and the wireless display if you want to project basically your screen on the bigger bigger screen kind of like you know your television or projector for example so that's it uh, for the um, basically for the toggles so we can have a look right away uh, at the settings so here we see that we have the SIM management of course if you use the two slots of SIM cards uh, two SIM cards which are, one is WCDMA and one is GSM as usual on every Chinese phone most of the time to so dual standby. We have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth data usage, if we click on more we have airplane mode, VPN, tethering, mobile networks, we can go back, uh, audio profiles, the displays. So here clear motion, wallpaper, so we can change the wallpaper, the auto rotate screen, we can activate it check it out, wireless display as I just said before um, otherwise the storage so as I said before this is uh, 16 gigabytes of internal memory uh, and all together when you will receive the phone you will get 13 around about 13 uh, gigabytes available for you okay so the battery as I said is a 2000 mAh battery not removable and allows you to surf Wi-Fi basically for 9 hours straight. Um, the language is an input, this is the most important so we have a lot so feel free to check your own. Okay. So the list is very long you should be able to find yours okay this is it so otherwise we have so the the google account here uh, date time skill power on off um, accessibility developer options so for the people who want uh, to actually enable more functions or customize more functions uh, on the smartphone okay so Otherwise, here about the phone. So this is a ZP1000 with Android 4.22, okay? And the build number. So, that's it for, for the settings. Uh, here, we can just have a look. This is so Android 4.22 without any problem uh, at all. Okay, we can have a look at the applications. So the browser, calculator, calendar, camera, the clock, compass too. Uh, desktop wallpapers, documents to go. Um, we can click here, this is from Zopo. So we have an access to, to different stuff. 
so you can use some live wallpapers and whatsoever so then we have uh, downloads drive email facebook to file manager flash player settings fm radio inside to the gallery gmail uh, google maps the local box uh, local messaging movie studio music navigation from google map of course the play store so you can download all your favorite applications without any problem phone people settings it's not finished yet so we have of course the sim toolkit skype uh, on it talk the themes so here you see it has a choice between four themes um, to do the torch for the flashlight twitter update system uh, just to, to, to repeat bit that but uh, Zopo is actually very good at making updates for their phones so we have whatsapp to so wireless updates and YouTube so this is pretty pretty complete for, for this package um, now we can have a look right away actually at the Antutu benchmark for the people who don't know what is uh, Antutu X benchmark it is actually an app which I mean app which allows you to um, to test the performances uh, of your device and to get a score out of it so we already did it for you so here we got a score of 25,344 uh, which is actually uh, a good score nowadays for a smartphone so let's try to understand uh, what is going on exactly so we have Android 4.22 the octa-core latest octa-core smartphone available from Mediatek the 6592 a very good graphic processor the Mali 450 MP4 um, we have a resolution of 1280 by 720 uh, a rear camera of 14 megapixels on the back we have a root access we'll try it later just to confirm we have here as you see one gigabyte of ram and altogether 16 gigabytes of internal memory with 13 gigabytes uh, available now um, the processor is actually clocked at 1.7 gigahertz um, we have um, 320 dpi here uh, actually the real dpi is actually 294 uh, dpi okay so in the multi-touch, we will try it just in a short time. Uh, we have so two cameras, one of 8 megapixels in the front and one of 14 megapixels on the back. Um, so actually, this is a 5 megapixels uh, interpolated to 8 megapixels, okay? Um, and the sensor, so we have quite a bunch of sensors. The only one not supported are actually temperature, pressure, ambient, temperature, and relative humidity sensor. Okay, so that's it for the specifications. So let's go back and let's, let's try some, some functions. So basically, uh, what I want to show you now is a root. So here we can, okay. Well, I'll try and here actually they say sorry this device does not have proper root access so if you want to change the, the Android version on it you will first have to root the phone and hence you will void the warranty okay so please bear that in mind so we can go back here we can test the multi-touch so this is a five touch uh, capacitive screen okay so let's go back so what, what we need to try now is actually um, the, the GPS so for that just to make it sure we enable it then we go into the settings and we go to location access and which make sure that everything is okay okay so then we can go back and let's try then the GPS I just went outside because inside it wasn't really working uh, so we got an accuracy before of um, 13, uh, 13 meters but uh, so please bear in mind that outside is working very very well but here I'm back inside and it's not working properly properly as it should be so the, the GPS is basically a bit weak on this phone um, so please bear that in mind um, now what we can have a look is actually at the at the camera itself. So let's take a picture of, for example, of this uh, OTG stick here. So 
here we go so we can see what's going on so we see that the details are very nice so some people were talking about lack of focus on it uh, we have been trying few stuff before and sounds like it's working very well so it's up to you to believe it or not so let's go back now and uh, what I propose to you now is to try actually the, uh, the OTG and in the meantime uh, see what's going on with the sound and the video so we can plug the, this OTG stick right away on it so we said this is working with the light okay here we see that external USB okay so it's good so let's go now to the, the file manager So, okay, it takes a bit of time because a lot of things in this SD card. So, videos, and we can, for example, play uh, the GoPro video. So, we should put, we shall put the sound to the maximum. So as we said before here, we already can see the, the brightness of the screen, so as I repeat, it's better than the Nexus 5. So you will enjoy watching movies or videos on this smartphone without any problem. Security, auto rotation working perfectly. So the sound is actually very powerful. It does a great job. We can go back and uh, that was just to, to show you actually the, the video on it so you can see that everything is very nice no problem so we can unplug this OTG and uh, now let's try the, the graphic performances uh, on it so for that we have been downloading uh, Asphalt 8 so which is like a, a racing game available on the Play Store for free So here we can see that actually the sound is nice, but it's so so high that actually got a bit distorted and blurred a bit. So we have to take that in consideration. However, we can see that the Mali 450 is doing a great job. You can play latest games without any problem at all. It is very smooth, no problem at all. So you will be able to play the latest games without any problem. Okay. No problem at all.
All right, so we can go back. That uh, was just to, to show you the gaming performances, which are very, very good on this phone. So, so that's it basically for the Zupo ZP1000. So this is what you will get uh, if you buy it. So basically, to make a quick summary about it, this is an octa-core smartphone with 1GB of RAM and 16GB uh, of internal memory with 13GB available, no SD card, uh, however. Uh, this is a 5-inch IPS SD with a resolution of 1280 by 720 Corning Gorilla Glass 3, okay. Two cameras, one of 5MP in the front and one of 14MP in the back. Um, 2000 mAh uh, battery, uh, non, not removable, very, very, very clear brightness and high, high brightness for sure. 150 grams, only 7.2 millimeters thick metal back cover, and with this glossy gold plastic bezel, okay, on the, on the side here. Um, so that's it basically for, um, for the Zopo ZP1000. So the buyers who want such performances usually have to live only with one SIM card, but this one proposes actually to you two SIM cards. So that's it basically for the ZP1000. So um, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below this video and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, if you want to purchase this smartphone, um, you can click on the top left corner of this video and it will, it will redirect you directly to our website so at www.electroframe.com and uh, until then I hope you enjoy it and see you later for the next review then bye bye